Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor OJ. Listen, I just wanted to make this video. I need us as the body of Christ to introduce a healthy Jesus. A healthy Jesus. Here's why it's important. Proverbs 4 and 7 says, In all you're getting, get an understanding. And I truly believe that if us as believers, we get into a posture, a position to really dissect that Bible and get the understanding that we need in proper context and proper timing of that Bible, we can now introduce a healthy Jesus to people. You know, the day is over where we just give people convincing stories, stories of, hey, you know, this is what deliverance could look like. Can we actually introduce a healthy Jesus so that they can see examples of what a delivered life look like? So we're not telling them that deliverance is across the street. You can actually look at me, dissect my life because I'm living in honesty and transparency. And you can look at me and see that I'm delivered. I'm healed. I'm saved. I'm set free. Can we introduce that version of Jesus to people? Because we give them a healthy Jesus. That means that now we are now working to build healthy families. Excuse me. That means that now that we're building to, to have healthy families, which means we can get healthy churches. If we have healthy churches, then that means that we can now get into a world and do damage. We can actually be the extension of of greater works the greater works that jesus was talking about was not greater in power he had the ultimate power he's jesus he was saying that greater works that we shall do than he did meaning we can cover more territory because we live in an age where the internet is we live in an age where we got vehicles we got planes we got trains we can travel and spread the gospel very quickly very fast you know, in, in a place and a time that, you know, you can just upload one post and millions of people see your status. We can be the extension of Jesus. That's the greater. Greater means that at large, we can give people at large, the masses, a big stage, a big, great platform, Jesus. So please don't think, don't look at that as you talking about, uh, oh man, I get more power than you if I just do greater or I, I get more salvation. Eh, no, no, that's, that, that's not exegesis, exegesis in the text correctly. So I just want to encourage the body. Let's introduce a healthy Jesus to people. Don't tell them about forgiveness. Actually stand in forgiveness. Be forgiving. The Bible says that we're uh, Luke 17, three and four that we're supposed to forgive no matter how many times a person comes back and say, I'm sorry, we're supposed to live in forgiveness. Here's why that's so important. Because now, if the person don't understand why they hurting me, that the Lord understanding, probably going back to Proverbs now, comes in and says, hmm, it is not my job to be friends with them. It is my job to love them and my love for them is going to show up in prayer for them until they, uh, they get understanding, they get wisdom on how to get the deliverance and healing they need to stop hurting people. I, does that mean I'm not going to correct them? No, I'm going to correct them. I'm just not going to walk with them. That protects them and it protects me. Somebody say a healthy Jesus. We have to give people that. I promise you, you know, if many preachers stop trying to get people, get into people's wallets, trying to stop trying to get a bigger platform, stop trying to be so religious fied, you get what I'm saying? You know, and trying to be all chief apostle, this and that, and just get into the Bible and give people that with something that they want. They want Jesus. They just want to see Jesus in you first. If you can show Jesus to them successfully, we can show Jesus to the world. Amen. My God. So I want to encourage the body today. Give people a healthy Jesus. God bless you.